Congress has yet to pass a new COVID-19 funding bill. As a result, federal funds for COVID relief expired on Tuesday. Nine on your side's Perla Shaheen tells us the impact this could have on Tucsonans. Perla? Well, Heidi, we're now in that in-between stage with COVID. There's less demand for vaccines and testing than in the beginning of the pandemic, but the need is still there. County health officials say they're going to continue to respond to that need. At the beginning of the pandemic, it was unclear how much funding Pima County would receive for COVID-related services. Despite the uncertainty, the county pushed forward. What was decided was that we would go ahead and continue to figure out how to assemble those services and resources that were needed by Pima County residents, and we would figure out the payment mechanism after the fact. Once again, COVID funding is uncertain since federal funding ended on Tuesday, but the county's chief medical officer says they'll follow the same plan they did before. Continue to do the right thing, and, and we will figure out how to work with the federal government to um, get reimbursed for those pieces of it that are eligible. Without congressional funding, White House officials say the United States will soon run out of booster doses, testing kits, and monoclonal antibody treatments. And by April, health providers won't be reimbursed for testing, treating, or vaccinating the uninsured. The pandemic has disproportionately affected people who are already at high risk of many um, poor health outcomes. And so it's going to take a long time to um, help create that health equity. Throughout the pandemic, El Rio Health has provided free vaccination and testing sites for low income and homeless populations. Dr. Joy Mockby says this outreach will continue, but now there are a couple administrative hurdles. There might be a few additional um, administrative things that we have to go through to, to get people signed up and on um, different types of programs. El Rio's eligibility team will work with patients to get them on a health plan or to offer them a sliding fee scale. And if all else fails, they won't turn away someone in need of a COVID test or a vaccine. And of course, this is all subject to change depending on congressional action in the coming months. Perla Shaheen, KGAN 9 on your side.